there is nothing quite as quintessential cowboy or cowgirl as the boot. On this National Day of the Cowboy, we stop by Hoagland's to learn how to pick just the right pair. Boots are fun. There's a lot of romance in boots. You know, and when people put a pair of boots on, it gives them a little bit different walk, a little bit different swagger. It, oh. You'll see it. Yeah, it's, it's kind of fun to watch the transformation. I started here when I was 15 years old, and that was 1977. Everything was more of that pointed toe. And then it kind of evolved to a little bit rounder toe, and then the really rounder toes. And now everybody's starting to get into more of the square toes and stuff. Anything that you can make leather out of, they've put into boots. And they've even made boots that aren't leather, of course. You know, they can make them out of any kind of fireproof material and things like that. Number one, you want somebody to feel comfortable in them. You know, if they come in here and it's their first pair of boots, they're probably not going to buy something that's 18 inches tall with a bright red top on it and something that they're going to tuck their pants in, you know. If you don't see that very often, we probably wouldn't run them down that road. We'd probably start them off pretty basic. Nice, basic, maybe elk skin leather, something really soft, comfortable, that looks really natural, that doesn't have a lot of wow to it. The women, on the other hand, that's a whole different story. <laughs> Their basic boot might be the craziest looking thing that you've ever seen. So yeah, you gotta feel the person out for sure. Yeah. Some people that have a lot of confidence in themselves, they can pull anything off. They can walk in with the loudest thing you've ever seen and think, wow, that looks great on her. If you don't have confidence, you probably shouldn't go down that road. If you're gonna wear them to a wedding, totally different thing than if you're gonna ride. If you're not riding and you're gonna use them to fence or whatever, you probably want a whole different sole on those too. Rather than a leather sole for a stirrup, you want something with a little bit more traction, a little bit more durability for uh, fencing and stuff like that. Stop by Hoagland's Western Wear in downtown Great Falls to see Mike and his team to find your perfect pair. We'll see you soon here in Great Falls.